Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're making tag from Hey Dougie. So the yarn I used for um, his body is the closest color that I could find, and it's in the Loops and Threads Impeccable Yarn. And this is a 4.5 ounce skein, and I only used half of it. I still have some left over from, from the first skein I did, building his entire body. So um, this is 127 0.5 grams, 285 yards. It calls for a 5 millimeter hook, so I'm going to be using my 4.5 because most of my yarn that matters is uh, 5 millimeter. That's what it calls for. So I'm building this in amigurumi, so I'm using my 4.5. Whatever yarn you're using, whatever hook it calls for, go down in hook size. The green that I used for his horn, he's a rhinoceros, so the green that I used for his horn um, is jade color. Oh yeah, I should probably tell you the color of the blue. So the green is jade, and the blue is clear blue from Loops and Threads Impeccable. And then the brown I used for his pants. It's just a Craft Smart brown. I, I don't even have the tag. I actually, I wrote down that it was a Red Heart Super Saver, so it doesn't feel like it though. It feels like a Craft Smart, so I'll have to change that, but um, it definitely feels softer than a Red Heart. So just any sort of brown that you have. And then this was the closest color I could find. It's called Saffron, and it's from Craft Smart. And that's the color saffron. So I only used about an ounce of that for, you know, his little feet and his belt. And then, of course, white for the eyes. These are safety eyes that I used. I think they are either 10 mil. No, they're probably bigger than that, 12 mil. And his mouth is pink, but I just used a little bit of peach for his mouth. Let's jump right into this. So we're going to start with the... Um, arms and the legs so I um, need my my brown and my yellow and I'm gonna start with the yellow because that's what his feet are so you're going to need to make a magic ring, which means we're going to need a stitch marker, this blue one. So make a magic ring of six single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch round. So because we're building an amigurumi, we don't slip stitch and we don't chain. We just go into the stitch and start to build. We do put our stitch marker on the first stitch. Then you can put stitch number two into that same space. So two single crochets in the same space all the way around will give you a total of 12 stitches. For the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches.
So that's my three rounds. I'm going to switch to um, brown. So on my last stitch, I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to grab my brown. If it's easier for you to make a slip knot, then that's probably a good idea. And then I like to just tie these together instead of weaving. The knot will be on the inside. Nobody will ever know it's there. Set that aside. And then with your brown, I want you to do 18 rows. And it goes pretty fast because you only have 12 stitches. So 18 rows of one single crochet in each stitch. And I will see you on the other side. So that's my 18 rows. Um, the very last round um, is a decrease round just for aesthetics. And I like to yarn under when I do the last round because it's just a tighter stitch for me. So I yarn under this way instead of going like this, I go like this. So your last round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease. Now you don't by any means have to yarn under. I'm just telling you this is what I'd like to do in case you wanted to give it a try. So that's number one with the marker. That's number two. And then I'm just going to do a regular decrease because um, it's the last row so it doesn't really matter. That is it. You can fasten off. With a sewing tail. Let's just get sewed to his bum bum. So you need to make two legs um, and stuff. make sure you stuff them the same. So you got to make two legs. So you just got to make sure you're stuffing them to be the same size. So I'll put my leg pattern up on this screen and I'll meet you right back here. So, um, now that you've got your second leg done, we can, f we can whip stitch this shut and then move on to arms. So a whip stitch generally is back loop to back loop, but um, I'm just going to use the whole stitch. But you can do whatever your little heart desires. Easy peasy. So it gives it a better look to um, tapering it in and I just like the, the look it gets. I hate the squared off look when you sew on limbs. I hate the, the squared off look. So you can just set your legs aside and we'll move on to arms. For arms you're just going to need your blue. That is it. So with your blue you're going to make a magic ring of six single crochets. <laughs> So 
So your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. If I can get in there. So after your first stitch, that's where the marker goes, then stitch number two can go into that same space. You're going to do two single crochets in each stitch for a total of 12. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase because I wanted to do another increase because I didn't want it this small, but I didn't want to do it as large as, you know, because normally you do a one single crochet increase. But that brings you up to 18 stitches and I didn't want it that big. So I decided just to do a three single crochet increase to 15 stitches. So that to me was a decent size. So that's number one. That's three single crochets and then your next stitch gets an increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. For the next 18 rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 15 stitches, and I will see you on the other side. So I am done my 18 rows and my last round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease and then we can fasten off. So that's number one, that's three single crochets and then your decrease. So again I'm just doing a normal one. You can fasten off. This is sewing tail. So we're just going to whip stitch this closed as well. Again, when you go to make your second arm, you got to make sure that your stuffing net are about the same. So I'm going to whip stitch this shut and then I'll let you go and do your second arm. I'll put the pattern on the screen and I'll meet you right back here. Now that you got your arms done, let's do his ear so it's pretty small and pretty cute. PDF users, um, scroll, you'll have to scroll down to the bottom, you'll have to bypass, this isn't going in order, but you'll have to bypass the, uh, 
the body and everything and the head so we'll do that after we'll get all these little parts made first for chapter one and then chapter two we'll do everything else so ears are just all blue so you're gonna need to make a magic ring of six single crochets Your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase because I want a little bit of a, a point on top. That's one single crochet and then your next stitch gets the increase which is two single crochets in the same space. You're only going to do this three times around for a total of nine stitches. Alright, so pull your middle closed. I'll try to pop this around a little bit. Not much to pop, but you're going to put one single crochet in each of those nine stitches, so that'll kind of help curl it around a little bit. So that curls it around a little bit. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. This brings you up to 12 stitches. That's one single crochet, two single crochets, and then your next stitch will get the increase. Two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. You're only going to go three times around as well. There we go. For the next six rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. So that's it, six rows, you're going to fasten off and we're going to whip stitch this closed as well. I did not stuff it. There we go. So I'll put the pattern up for this and then we'll make, come back and we'll make the horn and that'll be the end of chapter one. So for this green horn, we're going to start with a magic ring of four single crochets. I 
want you to do one single crochet in each stitch. If you're not sure where your marker or your stitches are, use your marker. I mean, I'm sure you'd use your marker anyway, but um, I know when it's this small, it is kind of hard to find where your stitches are. So, pull your magic ring closed. We can try to flip this around. So your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. So again, after stitch number one, that's where the marker goes. This will give you eight stitches. I do struggle with my fat fingers. So if you got some clover hooks, a lot easier when your magic ring closed when it's on your hook shape it a little bit better. So I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these eight stitches. Your next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase. That's one single crochet and then the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. Your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. This will bring you up to 16 stitches. That's number one with your marker. That's two single crochets and then your increase. And I want you to follow up with one single crochet in each of those 16 stitches.
Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase, and this will bring you up to 20 stitches. Before we do that, I want to make sure I'm stuffing this properly. So I just want to start putting a little bit of stuffing in here on the tippy, tippy top. You don't have to overstuff the top. I don't want to, you don't really want to see the stuffing through it, but you do want to pack it. Anyway, that's number one. That's number two and three. And then your increase. So this brings you up to 20 stitches. And then I want you to follow it up with two rows of one single crochet in each of those 20 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So that's my two rows, that's my horn. I did my last row yarning under, so it's nice and tight. I'm just gonna fasten off. So this got sewn on open. And there's the little tiny horn. So, that is it for um, chapter one. I will see you in chapter two. Hi guys, welcome back to chapter two. So, let's get started on building his head. His head gets sewn to his body so we'll start with his head. So you just need all blue for this and we're going to start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. Next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. And this will bring you up to 18 stitches. That's one single crochet. And then the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. And this will bring you up to 24 stitches.
Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 30 stitches. Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 36 stitches. Your next round is going to be five single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 42 stitches. Your next round is going to be six single crochets and an increase, and this brings you up to 48 stitches. Your last increase round is going to be seven single crochets and an increase. And this brings you up to 54 stitches. So this is what you should have. For the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these for uh, 54 stitches, and I will see you on the other side. So this is what you should have. So we're going to decrease a little bit. We're going to do a seven single crochet decrease. This will bring you down to 48 stitches. That's number one. That's seven single crochets. I'm going to do invisible decreases because they look way better. Uh, it cuts down on the gaps. So if you want to do them too, you don't have to, but go into your first front loop, pop around and go into your second front loop, then you yarn over and pull through, and then finish the stitch. So I repeat this decrease all the way around. So, um, we're going to start decreasing, but only in a specific spot, and I'll show you why. Can you see how I kind of came down here? Because it's a rhinoceros, right? So, I didn't want to decrease anywhere else, but just right in here. So, that's why we're going to get weird. 
So your next round is going to start with 17 single crochets. That's my 17 single crochets. And then I want you to do three single crochet decrease three times. So that's my three times and then 16 single crochets takes you back to your marker. So you should have 45 stitches. So your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 45 stitches. So your next round is going to be the same decrease as we just did, sort of, kind of. You're going to do those 17 stitches again. The reason I'm doing the 17 stitches is because I want this to be the back and this to be the front. So 17 stitches and then we'll do that decrease again. Not the same one though, a different one. This is my 17th stitch. So I'm back around to the same area where I decreased before. And this time I want you to do two single crochet decrease three times. So that's my two single crochet decrease three times and now 16 single crochets takes you back to your marker. For the next two rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of what should be 42 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So that's my two rows is what you should have. Oh, we're increasing now. So we're going to do 17 single crochets.
That's my 17 single crochets. So back in this weird spot. So two single crochet increase. That's two single crochets and then increase. So we're going to do that three times. And then 16 single crochets back to your marker. Alrighty. So we got 45 stitches again. So for the next eight rows, I want you to put one single crochet in each of these 45 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So this is this is what my uh, eight rows looks like. We're gonna stop here because we're gonna make the white part of the eyes, and here where we did our decreases. First, we're gonna put stuffing in this. We need to put our eyes in because we use safety eyes for this project, and before we close this up, we need to get our safety eyes in. So grab some white, set this aside, and grab some white, and I'll meet you right back here. So I've got some white, and these eyes are pretty super duper quick, and I'm going to be using them with these 12 millimeter safety eyes, and the backs, always important to use the backs. So that's kind of why we need to stop and get the eyes done and the head stuffed a little bit before we finish. So, we're going to start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch for a total of 12, so I'm just going to count to 12. That's my 12. I don't want to pull this magic ring super duper tight, leave a little bit of a hole because you're going to have to get this in there. So if you want to just leave him in there, it doesn't really matter. Your last row is one single crochet and an increase, which will bring you to 18 stitches. So again, I'm just going to count to 18 instead of getting a stitch marker. So that's one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So you're counting up by threes. That's 18 for me. So you go into this next stitch and you can fasten off with a sewing tail. And then we can make eyeball number two. So now that your eyes are done, you can stuff your head 
And just remember the part that we need to put the eyes, this needs to be down at the back because we did our decreases all in the front. So stuff accordingly. Stuffing plays a big role on what your finished project looks like. If you count 17 from here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, this is where we started our decreases. So my guy is kind of off to the side, but he's still at the back. But you should be able to clearly see where our decreases are. And that's where your eyes are going to go. So, 15, between 15 and 16 from the magic ring. This is the 15th and 16th row. Now, I don't want to put, um, the backs on yet until I make sure that I've got it right. So these eyes are sewn together like that. So they have to be fairly close on here. So when these get sewn, these two get sewn together in the middle. So if you are satisfied with the f that they're in the same row, I'm hoping mine are in the same row, you can put your backs on and then we can finish building this guy. to put my backs on backwards <laughs> because there's so much thickness getting in the way there so now you can kind of finish stuffing it a bit and then we'll just worry about the rest of it later and we can carry on from our get my weight out of the way. We can carry on from our eight rows. So we're gonna start decreasing to close up the muzzle. And you're gonna do a four single crochet decrease, but you're only gonna get around seven times. And you're gonna have three extra stitches. So that's number one. That's four single crochets, and then I'm still gonna do my invisible decreases. So do it all the way around. You'll have three extra stitches when you come back around. And just put one single crochet in those extra stitches. So I'm all the way back around and I have my three extra stitches and I'm just going to put one single crochet in each of those for a total of 38 for the round. So I just want you to put one single crochet in your next round, one single crochet in each of these 38 stitches. So your next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease. You're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to get seven times around and have three extra stitches. And it'll bring you down to 31 stitches. 
So that's three single crochets and then your decrease, whichever one you choose to do. And repeat. So that's my three single crochets seven times around. I've got three extra stitches for a 31 count. And I just want you to do one single crochet in each of these 31 stitches for your next round. Just about done. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease and you're going to do this exact same thing and have the exact same amount of stitches extra and this will bring you down to 24 stitches. So I'm all the way around with my two single crochet decrease. I've got three extra stitches and a count of 24. So I just want you to do one single crochet in each of these 24 stitches. And then you could probably start stuffing again. So we're going to be able to sew these on pretty good. You can kind of get the idea of the shape now at this point. So I'm going to have to get more yarn. So I just finished that first roll. So I actually managed to get a whole doll, two arms, two legs, and almost a head out of one skein, a four point ounce skein. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, so your last couple of rounds, this first one here is just going to be one single crochet decrease. You're not going to have any extra stitches. That'll take you down to 16. So that's one single crochet with your <coughs> marker. So go jump right into your decrease. So we're going to cinch this and we need it to look pretty polite because it's going to kind of be right at the beginning, front of his head. That's kind of, everyone's going to see it. So I need more yarn. So because it has to be polite, I decided I was going to do one single crochet in each stitch for the final row. So you should have 16 stitches. So of course my final row is going to be yarning under, not over. So it's my 16th stitch. You can fasten off with a cinching tail, but we're not going to use this for a sewing tail at all, so you just need a cinching tail. When we build the body, we'll build the 
sewing tail off of that. So I'll just finish stuffing it. So once you think it's full enough, we can weave. So in the front loop, out the front loop with the next stitch. So I am all the way around, so I'm going to pull, and I like to um, secure my cinch with knots, and I do two of them, two different directions, but you can do whatever you want. There we go. So. That's about as polite as we can make it. But I think that's pretty good. So we can sew these eyes in place now. Just stick my stragglers down because I use my stragglers. But I'm just going to turn this eye a bit because I want this to be over there. I don't want this to be over there because I'm going to use them that way. So, these eyes get sewn together. So that's just what I did. So I'm popping across in the stitch that I think matches. I think it's this one where I'm at right now. And it's like I'm going to do a whip stitch. Well, it's not like it. I'm going to do a whip stitch to bring these eyes together. I've got this straggler to do the other two stitches over here. So I'm going to use this now to sew this eye in place. Does that make sense? Actually, we'll switch and we'll do this side first. And then we'll start sewing. So, that's my eyes sewn on together, and then of course I pop out and I meet up with my straggler. I tie some tight double knots. And then I weave. So going down into that same stitch, I go in two different directions and it pulls that knot down inside. And then the horn
So his ears we can sew on. Then we'll do his mouth and then we'll get to the body. Might as well just get his head all done. So these ears are pretty far apart. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven visible stitches in this row. So that's what they, that's where they go. See how far back they are. One, two, three, four, five. They're about the seventh row or sixth row, sorry, back. Four, five, six. Okay, so my ears are on, and the last thing to do is the mouth. And um, <coughs> in a lot of pictures, his mouth is pink, but I'm just going to use this peach color. But you can use whatever color your little heart desires. I'm going to put up a picture of Tag so that you get an idea of what we're looking at. So, um, you can put his mouth here on the side or whatever. This is what I did with mine. So he's kind of on the side on the front. And I like that. So I think I'm just going to do the other side, really. So I found that I had to um, glue it, obviously. So once it's glued, we can set it aside. Yeah, that might be all right. So I just put some glue where I wanted the milk to be, obviously. Try not to push that down too tight because when you go to take it out after everything's dried, you might end up with a, a line in it. So while the mouth is drying, let's move on to the body. So we need to start with brown to start his body. Because we start at the the butt and we work our way up. So you're going to make a magic ring of six single crochets. So your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. So after your first one, that's where the marker goes. So this will bring you up to 12 stitches. So your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase, and this will bring you up to 18 stitches. That's one single crochet. And then your next stitch gets the increase. 
two single crochets in the same space. <laughs> I've got two left hands all of a sudden. And repeat. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. This will bring it up to 24 stitches. That's number one. That's number two. And then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next round is going to be three single crochets in an increase, and this will bring it up to 30 stitches. Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 36 stitches. Your next round is going to be five single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 42 stitches. Your next round is going to be six single crochets and an increase. This will bring it up to 48 stitches. Your last increase round is going to be seven single crochets and an increase. This is as far as we're going. So this is what you should have. So um, there's 54 stitches here for the next eight rows. I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 54 stitches. And then we're gonna change to the saffron color for two rows and then we're gonna go to the blue and finish the rest of the body. So um, just for now, one single crochet in each of these 54 stitches for the next eight rows and I will see you on the other side. So that's my eight rows. This is what you should have at this point. Um, I didn't do my last stitch because I'm going to be switching to um, the yellow. So I'm gonna pull up a loop, get my marker out of the way, change to yellow. So for the next two rows, I'm only doing two rows of yellow and then I'm going to blue. So for the next two rows, you got the same amount of stitches, 54. You're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch and then we're going to go to blue. So I will see you on the other side. So I'm all the way back around and that is my two rows. I'm on my last stitch and I'm gonna pull up a loop and go to blue. And 
that out of the way. And then with blue, we're going to do 12 rows before we do anything. So easy peasy. So for the next 12 rows, and this blue is wonderful to work with if you're using it, one single crochet in each stitch. No increasing, no decreasing. For the next 12 rows, so I will see you on the other side. So this is my 12 rows. You can uh, start putting some stuffing in this and then we're going to decrease to uh, close it all up. Put some more in later. So we're going to start with a seven single crochet decrease because we ended with that same increase. So this should have brought you down to 48 stitches and I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 48 stitches. Your next decrease round is going to be six single crochets and a decrease. And this will bring you down to 42 stitches. Your next round is going to be five single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to 36 stitches. So your next round is going to be one single crochet in each of those 36 stitches. So your next round is going to be four single crochets and decrease and this will bring you down to 30 stitches. So your next round should be three single crochets and a decrease. This will bring you down to 24 stitches and that's as far as we go as far as decreases. So we should have 24 stitches. Um, I just finished filling mine. Um, so for the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 24 stitches, and that'll be the neck. And we'll fasten off at that point. That'll be what we sew our head to. 
So one single crochet in each stitch for the next three rows and I will see you on the other side. So that is it. That's my little neck area. So you just gotta make sure it's stuffed properly, but don't stuff it too much that it just looks like it's the same size as this. So we can fasten off. You're gonna need a, a long sewing tail. So just make sure your neck is stuffed good. So I like to overfill mine, but you can still see the shape of the neck. So now, get that out of the way, we can sew our head on. So, um, I like to do a mattress stitch for this, but you can do whatever you want. But I might go back a little bit with his head. So it's like that, but it's completely up to you. So now that I've gone around once and it's attached and it's pretty pretty good. It's not not that wobbly, but there's still a little bit of a wobble. I'm gonna go around now a second time with my mattress stitch. And um this time I'm gonna go higher on the head and lower on the body. And aesthetically it'll look really good. It'll make it look really pleasing. There, I am done. I'm gonna do one more. So I wanna make a small little knot. And then I'm gonna weave. So that knot, no. I 
didn't go down in the right spot. I'm gonna go down into the same spot. <laughs> he just made the knot. And I did not do that, so. So, my head's a little on the tilted side, which is how most of my animals come out, as you can see. But going around the second time in the mattress ditch really um, just kind of brings that home and uh, makes it not wobbly, no wobbly head or anything. So this is what you should have at this point. This is what it should look like. So I'm just going to weave. And then we can sew on our arms and legs. So all that's left now is to sew our arms and legs on to the legs first. So these are meant to be around the magic ring area. zoom out I guess I just zoomed in for no reason so if you sew them on around the magic ring they only stick out that far so and then the arms geez I know I'm not even sure so you can sew them on wherever you're gonna sew them on I'm probably gonna go one two three four rows down from the neck and that puts them at about right there. So, yeah, that's it. So your arms and legs on and we are gonna be done. There we go. Isn't he cute? I'm going to be doing the rest of the guys too. So, Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.